Greetings to all in the Shalom world. I'm joining you. This is Deacon Teddy O'Connor. I'm joining you from Killarney Island this morning, and I'm joining you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is going to be a day, this period of time in the presence of Jesus is going to be all about healing and how we might attempt to draw down, to inhale the healing power of Jesus, the healing power of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and the healing power of Jesus coming through his word to us into our soul. I thank Shalom World for bringing us together, for enabling us to hear each other, for ena enabling us to communicate. I am immersed here uh, in prayer, and I am immersed in the love of God, and I know that because you are listening to this telecast, you are also immersed in the love of God. So that's what I invite you to do now, my friends. I want you to see yourselves in the presence of Jesus Christ, our healer, our great miracle worker, the man who walked the face of the earth and healed those whom he met, those who believed in him and asked for his healing and asked for his healing. My friends, this is the key. I have to share with you this morning, today, my book that I have written that I'll be launching on next Sunday because it's all about my own healing and what I discovered and what I learned. So I'm coming primarily to share that with you today so that it will help you. The foreword to my book was written by my bishop here, Bishop Ray Brown, and in that last a sentence that he wrote, he hoped that my experience would bring hope and healing to others. So that is primarily the reason I wrote the book, was to share my healing experience, the healing of the power of Jesus Christ, through his word and through the Eucharist. So my friends, I ask you now to relax and to enter into the presence of Jesus. Let nothing else invade your mind, but gaze upon Jesus, gaze upon his word. Come into his presence. And my friends, when we are in his presence, we are being healed. But my friends, what I discovered was a great deterrent to healing is to think that we are unworthy to be in his presence. So I want you now, during this period of time, I want you to know that you are worthy. Wherever you have been, whatever you have done, you are worthy. Please do not judge yourselves. Let Jesus be the judge. And when Jesus is the judge, then he heals and we are free because when we go to him through the sacrament of penance in confession, we confess and we repent. And when we do that, my friends, we are clear with Jesus. We are clear with the church. So any guilt that you are hanging on to, that you are being tempted to remember, you having been in confession is what we call false guilt. That's coming from some other place, some other difficult experience that you had, but it's an experience that you need to let go of and give it to Jesus. Because Jesus is not holding your guilt against you in any way. So my friends, there we have it. Lay your hands gently upon us. And what I invite you to do now is just see that the Lord is holding his hands over you and he wants to heal you. That is the deepest desire in the heart of our God, 
is to heal us. So just please to open up and rest and relax. Anxiety stops healing. So my friends, there is no need for us to be anxious. God says everything will be healed. During my healing, and I have to tell you that I was in hospital for three and a half months. I was on life support for two of those months. And I had extraordinary experiences. But it was very necessary for me. I had horrendous experiences. But it was very necessary for me to know that God loved me. In spite of everything I experienced on that life support. I was so sick, I could see that there was graves around me. My spirit was telling me that I was weak. I had only the awareness to rest with Jesus and Mary in my spirit. And I believe I got that grace from the people who were praying for me at the time. There were many, many hundreds, if not thousands of people praying for me. And I believe it was they, their prayer sustained my faith and hope. My faith and my hope. So what I invite you to do this morning is to gaze upon hope. The hope that Jesus gives us. The hope that he gave us on Easter Saturday night when he rose triumphant from the grave. He conquered sin. He conquered illness. He conquered addiction. He conquered everything. There is only goodness in God. There is only goodness in God. And that's a hymn I'm going to sing for you now. The goodness of God. I want you to sing it along with me. goodness of God. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head Oh, I will sing Of your goodness, O oh God And all of my life You have been faithful and all of my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of your goodness, oh God. I love your voice You have led me through the fire 
through darkest nights. You were close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I've been healed in your presence, O oh God. And all of my life you have been faithful. And all of my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of your goodness, O oh God. My friends, I just want you now to see yourself immersed in the goodness of God. My friends, to help you to do this, just become aware of everything good that ever happened to you. Just become aware of all the good people around you right now. Of all the good things that are happening in the world right now. And I know there are other things happening in the world as well. But as Christians, as followers of Christ, we look for the goodness of God. And we seek and we find it. And it heals us. Seek and find the goodness of God around you. In the people, in the places, in the priests, in the communion, in the church. See the heroism that's around you. People caring for the sick. People caring for the sick. Their heroism, their dedication, their vocation to love, their vocation to their careers. In hospitals, we have doctors, nurses, medicine, people working all over for the goodness of God. Just immerse yourself, my friends, in that goodness because it will help you to connect with the goodness of God. This final verse, friends, I wrote this myself. And it goes to the core of what Jesus did for me. These are my words. This is a total synopsis of what my book is about. My accompanying CD is on it. Your healing touch it has brought me through my illness every moment your presence was so real you raised me from my loneliness you fill me with your love and I was healed in your presence, O oh God. Amen. Hallelujah. I was healed in your presence, O oh Lord. And I'm sending out that healing now, Jesus, to every person that can listen to this across the world. Your goodness, Lord, has to go to the ends of the earth. It is going to the crevices it has to go into the crevices of every soul, of every heart, listening to this today, my Lord. Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, this is going out to the whole world. Open yourselves up to it, my friends. The healing touch is there for you. And all of my life, you have been faithful. And 
all of my life you have been so so good with every breath that i am able oh i'm gonna sing of your goodness oh god oh i'm gonna sing of your goodness oh god oh i'm gonna sing of your goodness oh god my friends god has no favorites what he's done for others he'll do for you it is no secret what god can do my friends give the word of god time be patient with yourselves be patient with the scriptures be patient with each other we've got an enormous soul because it's an eternal soul it's a soul and a spirit that leads us through life conscience is part of that soul love is part of it conscience keeps us on the right track my friends love keeps us serving others and it keeps us gazing upon jesus never stop gazing upon jesus and upon opening your heart and your hands to him and receiving it receiving his love into your heart receiving it into your sickness he desires to be there with you my friends you will be surprised he will always surprise because he's a generous god just want to share with you my book that is going to be launched by father pat collins who is an authority an international authority on healing he's got 25 books written and please god and i'm ever so grateful to father pat collins that he is going to launch my book in the rose hotel in Tralee on this sunday the rose hotel it's going to be a day of anointing the room is going to be anointed if there is somebody out there and they'd like to come well then you're more than welcome be very very welcome you will receive an open arm welcome from all those there we will pray together for you we will have a day that is unforgettable god bless you and i leave you as i joined you with the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen god bless you and god bless all in radio maria for enabling us to come together this day to provide us with the technology god bless all in shalom tv thank you
safe, oh God. You are my hope, keep me safe, oh God. You are my hope, keep me safe, oh 